I just want to make this perfectly clear. After that debate, I look at both of these two as incompetent. Dodging questions, finger pointing. It was bad every way to Sunday where I think neither one of them look good and they're on shaky ground with people who are undecided on anything in regards to voting for either of them. But if you are walking out of this debate having a thought about anything regarding anything about that debate, and there are some things to think about. If it has anything to do with these damn earrings, I have a problem with your comprehension of anything in society. Look like Kateen Kamala and husband Doug Imboff ordered earring earbuds to help her debate because after all the circumstances of both of them dodging each other and having the conversation of what we're going to do, are we going to mute the mics? Are we going to not mute the mics? Are we going to let people talk for how long? Are we going to let them talk for one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes? We have to now have a conversation about how people are running around with earbud headphone earrings. They did it because they think they're going to get votes, but it's not worth it because they're, look, they're destroying look at, look the fabric right ear. of our country by what they've done. Is it not obvious that she There's has an earpiece in her right ear? Like this at Notice all. how they purposely the have her left ear Millions showing, but they cover her right ear in such world, a way that to make sure you can't see it. You can also tell that she's listening to somebody mouth to something to her. You can tell. Because we can't just say, wow, Kamala was on a little bit of shaky ground. We got to come up with something. And the thing that's pissing me off is how many people are willing to put fire towards smoke they can't even see. I done watching the debate. And then I got on TikTok just to see what all people were saying. And then I came across a video and I was like, dang. Didn't know these existed, but I wouldn't doubt it. H1 pearl earrings. There's this picture of the product. Now here's Kamala Harris. Hmm, does that look familiar? H1 audio earrings. Kamala Harris. I'll let y'all figure that one out. Rumors begin to emerge that Marxist Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris hashtag, wore similar wireless earbud earrings during the debate. Oh, Kamala Harris exposed for wearing earpiece in debate. Proof! She is seen wearing an earring developed by Nova Audio Earrings, first seen at CES 2023. This earring has audio transmission capabilities and acts as a decent earpiece. Discreet earpiece, not a decent earpiece. Kamala Harris confirms claims that the candidate against Trump gets to break all the debate rules. Now, let's play a game. This is apparently the earring in question that has the audio capabilities to transmit something to the earring to your earlobe with nobody being able to detect it. And this just so happens to be, not that one, this one happens to be the earring that she wore during the debate. Does anybody want to play the game of noticing something? Do I have to spell it out for everybody? Do I, do I need to spell out the difference between this earring and this earring? I shouldn't have to, but golly gee willikers, Batman, a lot of people are buying into this, but they're gonna do the whole subtle, oh, well, I'm not saying it's true, but you really have to consider. All right, somebody needs to explain to me this. The Nova headphone earrings that look a lot like the earrings that Koala used in the debate, um, they are available for purchase. So why do I keep getting this comment that it's a Kickstarter not available, and I'm gonna show you the receipts. Now, I cannot confirm or deny that these are in fact those earrings, TikTok. I just showed some photos that they are similar and look an awfully lot alike. What do you guys think? So this is the Nova Earring Instagram page, and I'm gonna show you that they've been available in 2023. Um, this post here is from May, 2023. Um, showing that they're on discount. You could buy them now. This is all in May. This is a photo inside their Milan store with the address at the bottom saying that they're available for purchase. And then we have another uh, post down here that's going to say that they are available and they are back in stock right here. Get your pair before they're gone again. So you could argue all you want that those are not the earrings that she was wearing. I never claimed they were. 
That is not something that I can confirm or deny. It just looks suspicious. But what you cannot say is that they're not available. In TikTok, I'm not driving, I'm parked. I'm not considering nothing because that is not the same earring. And I just want people to know that this is a real earring because there are people running around saying, oh, you can't even get this thing. You can order this thing. Keyword order. Why do I say that? Because if we look at this article that came out on 9-11 respect all those people who lost their lives and that what's the frequency kamala some conspiracy minded supporters of former president donald trump have claimed that the vice president kamala harris got secret and unfair help in her tuesday night debate against the republican nominee the theory goes like this harris's earrings contain a clandestine bluetooth device that enabled her to be coached by unseen aides during her abc news forum uh, blah 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 however the nova h1 audio earrings look different than the ones Harris donned during the verbal bout, except for the fact that both include pearls. You know what's crazy? The thing about that is they're Tiffany earrings. Easily verifiable by anybody who's going to bother to look at this. And they got people who complaining about this. This is what we're doing. It's $800 earrings. Is it earrings I would buy? No, unless I'm trying to impress somebody during Christmas. I'm not paying attention to this. But we dedicating useless time to people worrying about earrings. Because apparently Trump did so bad in some people's eyes, they got to make the most baseless, boring excuse. The clip on Nova H1 earrings sell for about $625 a piece and are able to protect sound from inside the pearl straight into your ear canal, according to its Kickstarter page, which appears to have been dormant since last year and includes comments suggesting people hadn't received their product despite chipping in the cash. We're dedicating time to this. We're dedicating significant time to worrying about a Kickstarter page where people apparently aren't even getting what they signed on for. This is what we're doing. This is what we're truly doing. Instead of looking at this debate with any sincerity, any type of brain power, we just coming up with anything now. And people are running with it. That's truly the saddest part. People running with this and thinking that it's gospel and nobody's going to fact check it. Nobody's going to bother to sit around and actually say, hold on. Not only are these two earrings not the same in any capacity with the exception of a fucking pearl, which by that logic, damn near everything's the same if it has one minute detail. In all honesty, the thing that irks me is that there are going to be institutions and articles that come out to fact check this and say that this is an entire thing that's baseless and people are not going to care. They're going to run with it. They're going to say that this happened. They're going to sit there and word salad it and be like, oh, this was a thing that actually happened. And I heard it via Twitter. And they're not going to bother to actually take the time to see if something is verified by people who are dedicated to telling the truth. They're just going to run with the lie because they're clearly trying to illustrate any form of an excuse as to why in their minds they thought Trump looked bad and Kamala looked somewhat better than him. And that's not the way y'all should be doing this. Y'all should be looking at both of them and how they respond to these questions and think critically as to how they can improve the next time, hopefully, if they actually have another debate. Because both of them look spotty. Both of them look bad. But for some reason, one side is going above and beyond to do anything possible to make one person look good. And in reality, that's making them look very spotty. And I don't know why, but I have to hold your hand as I say this. Please don't start spreading baseless claims about shit just because you need to start spouting nonsense via social media it is not helping the conversation it is hurting the conversation and the more you do that while people are dedicating time to fact check it and debunk it the more people are gonna look at you and say you are fucking stupid this is my thing and I feel like I've said it throughout this video and I'm gonna repeat it again. You don't need to do this. And for anyone who will say, oh, it's just us joking around. No, you're spreading baseless claims about nothing because in your mind, you won't admit it. You feel like Trump screwed up a little bit in that debate. And it's fine to think that way. You have all these polls saying, oh, Kamala's doing good. Trump's doing good. Trump's doing good. Kamala's doing good. What matters is what occurs in November. And along the way, as I predicted in January, stupid shit is going to be said by a lot of people in order to make their side look good. And 
I can't believe how right I was about that. And I will continue to be right up until November and in January when this is all completely over with. You do not need to drum up random things about either candidate to try to make your candidate somehow look good because you might think that works, but to everybody else, they'll look and say, hmm, you're a little bit on shaky ground about Trump, aren't you? Because on what grounds do, after seeing that debate, which was, I believe, like 90 minutes of babble from both of them, do we now turn into conspiracy theorists about fucking earrings that were from Tiffany? Listen, I wouldn't buy them. They $800, but I'm not about to waste my time saying Kamala covertly had an earpiece in her ear and posting these random clips of Obama saying he would just be in the background controlling somebody. That's not helping your case for anything. It's just making you look weird. It's just making you look foolish. And I would hate to see y'all in them predicament. And if you're mad at me for not getting on my knees and believing some bullshit conspiracy theory, I'm sorry that I'm using the front, the side, the other side, and the back of my brain to develop a thought that is, hmm, no, that's not a Kickstarter earring that a bunch of people probably didn't get. No, I'm not going to believe random women on TikTok saying they can't confirm or deny, even though they got two functioning fucking eyes. Fuck, I got four of them and I could see it. No, I'm just going to look at that and I'm going to deduce that what they're spouting is bullshit and it's not good. But let me know, are you willing to just buy anything as a conspiracy theory or are you willing to think critically to figure out some people are just spouting bullshit to try to speak up for everybody else when in reality they're speaking for themselves and they need to shut the fuck up. Subscribe to the channel. I will see you all in the next one. We are getting closer and closer to the end and if you didn't notice, the stupider and stupider and stupider as this all gets, the more I'm getting a little bit more angry and I like it but I also don't like it at the same time. Mwah. Goodbye.